Hello friends and coffee lovers. I know it's been a little while, but I have good reason. Uh, it's winter in Michigan. So as you know, we wrap and store the trailer. But what I have failed to tell you is that we decided it was a good time to rebuild the trailer. So I'm gonna kind of take you through bits and pieces of a total rebuild of the trailer. What's great about this is you'll get to see how we did it. Um, exactly how much money went into everything just from the ground up. Um, total, total rebuild. Uh, let's get the first question out of the way. Why are we rebuilding? Truthfully, when we started, we obviously did not know that much about the business. Um, well, about it being mobile. Knew about coffee, not the mobile aspect. And we were living in a place that we couldn't store or build the camper ourselves, so I had to outsource it. Um, didn't really do a lot of research, just wanted it done, just wanted to get the business going. So uh, a lot of the work that was done got to a point where it really needed to be redone. Uh, everything passed, it was technically fine, but things started really shifting off the walls. This whole side of the camper at every event, the, the countertop would end up coming out this far when we drove. We'd have to shove it all back. We started trying to re-secure things to the wall, but at that point everything was just such a mess. Nothing was working. So. Brian was like, you know what? It's time. Let's just rebuild the whole thing. Uh, there's a lot of anxiety for me with that because we are supposed to be opening in two weeks. Two more weeks we are supposed to be opening for the season. Um, Brian feels good, so I feel good. Uh, but I guess this video is just going to be part one of kind of what we've done up till now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can answer some questions that you've had about building it out. Um, one huge benefit I think we had is... Um, obviously now we've had two years of working on the camper so we knew things that we liked and didn't like and kind of where we could improve in some areas um, we also just recently over the past two years totally had our whole had totally have redone our whole house um, and that was all Brian I was just his little helper but he learned so much along the way doing that that could now be applied to the camper so I'm feeling really good about it just hoping we can get it done in time and uh, I know the videos won't be super super detailed but I kind of wanted to bring you through that process in case any of you are in the middle of a build um, so yeah here it is so it's pretty cold outside it's like 30 degrees still it's kind of starting to fluctuate in Michigan so I really want to like get the trailer upgraded done Brian's gaming so it's the perfect day to bring new cabinets in and start painting. Um, I've got this like green that I had painted the old cabinets before. Really like it and we already have the paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these prepped and ready. If anybody watching happens to be a perfectionist, then I'm probably your worst nightmare <laughs> because when it comes to projects, I really just go for it. I'm like, okay, you know, if we get a little paint where it doesn't belong, that's totally fine. Um, I very much so just try to like get it done to a point where I'm happy with it. Uh, today there's no painter's tape, no anything crazy. We're just going for it. All right, a successful night. Cabinets are painted in the camera. They kind of look Tiffany blue, but they're definitely more like pistachio green. Um, Brian does not love this color, but I really, really do. So cabinets were a good like compromise because it's something that I get to see that makes me smile, but isn't necessarily like branded on the camper. All right, this is the current state of the camper. Here is the sink that Brian just had built. So much better. Um, we kind of ripped up quite a bit, but We've got a little more to go and we're going to bring in the two new cabinets. The drawers are going to go here and then the double is here, our fridge, and then everything else will hopefully fall into place from there. It looks like a disaster in here and that's because it is. Um, honestly, we never knew how big those tanks were. They are massive. Um, I'm a little overwhelmed standing in here, but Brian feels okay, so I guess I feel okay. How do you feel? Good. Confident? I'm better than the last guy. We can get this put together by April? Yeah. <laughs> Don't hesitate, we have an inspection. 
reasonably better. All right, taking this opportunity to do a nice deep clean of all the walls and floors, that corner is absolutely the worst, so I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, so this is the progress currently where Brian's at. Right now he's working on making supports for this uh, countertop. We still have trash from the old camper. Um, and because of where the sink falls, he's just got to cut out a section right here so that that fits in nicely. And then this sink is going to, hand washing sink is going to go in that back corner. And everything else will fall into place. Uh, he custom built this cabinet, which is amazing. And he's going to do another one for this side. We'll put the butcher block on top. And then everything hopefully will be smooth sailing from there. I'm um, very thankful that this guy knows so much. Okay, so what did we do? We built a cabinet over the wheel well on this side. Previously, we just kind of like didn't have any storage there, which kind of sucked. So we built a custom one that'll fit right over it, which leaves us enough room in here to like store water jugs, which we didn't have before. Uh, we put the new countertop in. This is eight feet and this will be four, so 12 feet across. Um, I built braces for the countertop on this side because there's no cabinet, we still needed a way to support it. And then I started hooking up all the plumbing down here. So we're just using packs for everything. It's flexible, it's gonna be nice uh, while we're driving. And yeah, I think that's it, right? It's a lot. Yeah. But we still have to do another cabin on this side and then this whole thing, but we're almost there. So there are two types of people in this world, clean as you go people and worry about it later people. If you couldn't tell by that last footage, Brian is a worry about it later person. I'm a clean as you go person, but I'm not complaining because he did all of this work. I had no idea he was doing it while I was visiting my aunt in Florida. So, so that's amazing. Um, and now I'm just gonna throw away a lot of the, like most of what was all over the floor was just like trash from all the projects he's been working on. So I'm throwing that away, kind of giving everything a sweep because I love a clean workspace and I'm just getting so excited to bring everything back into the camper and make sure we're ready to go for April. We have two weeks to get this trailer where it needs to be so we can get our next inspection and um, start serving for 2024 out of the camper. So lots of work to be done. Very, very lucky to have a husband who can learn literally anything from YouTube. All right, thankfully Brian started working on some like nicer days because it's now snowing in Michigan. So it's a little chilly in here, um, but I've got my headphones so I can't record while I'm listening to music or else I would, but I'm gonna get this cabinet painted up and then maybe start staining um, and like, making our butcher block food safe. So that's on the agenda for today. Um, we're gonna try to focus on like this whole side and then um, we'll move on to building this area. But the new hand washing sink did get installed, which is great. Um, as you can see under here, that's our hot water heater. Uh, but Brian made these braces that lead to here. We still do have to cut out, there's an outlet back there. Um, so we'll have to finish all that. But I just wanna to try to get as much done as I possibly can. So I'm just gonna kind of paint as we go. Um, and hopefully that'll help a bit. So this space under here is gonna be so much more usable now. Um, that's one of the things I'm most excited about. And then we're gonna keep the fresh water on that side, gray water on that side. Smells like paint. Yeah. All right, it's gonna be time to start polying the top. I should have had, Brian just went to the gym. I should have had him help me lift this before, but it's okay. I got this, okay. Um, kinda, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this and get both sides. I suppose I could just leave it on the top here. I think I want to like take it off and put it on the ground. Let's see. Oh yeah.
I don't know if that was helpful. Whatever. We're going for it. All right. So one of the kind of beautiful things about getting to rebuild is um, kind of knowing the, the issues that we've had in the past and um, finding like better ways or to build, I guess. Um, you just pick up on little tips, tricks, things that, you know, obviously you wish you would have known before the build. Thankfully, our layout I really loved. Um, so we didn't have to really change anything layout wise. Um, we just kind of invested in better materials and we're definitely gonna secure things much, much better to the sides of the trailer. Um, another thing is, I'm sure there are people who try to kinda, um, if they are using butcher block or anything in that capacity, only do the top portion. But with an espresso machine that's moving all the time, sometimes you do get kind of leaks underneath or something spills. So you wanna make sure both sides are fully protected. Same with like painting the interior of this cabinet. Um, it, I know that that is going to be a place that we keep our water pumps and lines. So obviously we don't want a bunch of water spilling onto just wood. So I have the paint, we're gonna add like a protective poly layer there. That way everything's just easier to clean and we're not running the risk of having any like water damage or mold in our cabinets. So the more protection you can add to like everything, the better, um, especially with things like moving all the time, it'll just save you a lot of pain in the future. Before I wrap it up um, for the first portion of this video, I kind of want to give you a general walkthrough of where we're at budget wise. Uh, what's great is we have enough money in the business bank account from last year to be able to cover all of this. So it's definitely much less stressful than when it was like just my personal money I'd been saving going into the build. Um, so let's tally it up so far. This new sink, which was definitely a necessity, was on sale at Home Depot for like $150. Uh, I got this cabinet and this one, the already built ones, came out to a little over $300. Got this guy, the hand washing sink, for $110. Uh, Brian, all the like custom build work that he did um, was, let's see, we got three sheets of the wood for building and each sheet was i want to say 65 dollars um i'll have to double check with him on all of the plumbing because he got all of that while i was away um our we got new tanks because if we're building new might as well get new clean wonderfulness those were 130 dollars we already had the fridge from the camper previously that just moved over. That was like $200. Um, our hot water heater, which we took out because now it's snowing again, um, was also from the last build. I want to say that was around $200, but don't quote me on that one. And lastly, currently our butcher block, which is down here. This section, uh, the eight foot one was $136. And then the smaller four foot one, honestly, I don't remember. I wanna say it was like $120, but somewhere in that range is what all of these things were. The very last video of our build, I'll kind of dive a little deeper and give a full like in-depth of what we spent on the rebuild, you know, with receipts and all that jazz, but this is just kind of a rough outline. I know we're going to need one more eight foot here, so that's going to be another $130. I do think some of the leftover plywood that we had is maybe going to be enough to finish this one. If not, that'll be another $65. Um, that's it for like big materials. All the paint was left over, but you know, you're looking at however much per gallon, um, you know, maybe $40 based on whatever paint that you would need. And I'm trying to think like odds and ends, just like the different screws and stuff like that. But that's, you know, compared to everything else, really not all that much. Um, but once this stuff is done, uh, it's just gonna be 
a matter of bringing everything else into the trailer, kind of getting nice finishing touches. One other thing, uh, Brian did build a bench for right here. That was all just made haven't brought it in yet. I guess I could paint that tonight, but that was just all made with like scrap wood that we happen to have laying around the house from various projects. Um, we thought about adding another countertop there because counter space is amazing, but I really couldn't give up the bench. I love that when friends come to visit, they have somewhere that they can sit um, and just hang out for a minute. Or if Brian decides to work from the trailer, that he has a little somewhere he can sit and work. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. One other random thing to mention is the amount of trash that we have had from cleaning this out. So we live in an area that where your trash has to fit in your like garbage can. Um, that has been a nightmare because you saw like all, like right now, all this is gonna be secured to the wall. It's all wood, but before everything was metal. So we have to cut down all that metal and slowly put it in our trash can and get rid of it or take it to the dump eventually. Um, and then all the leftover like stuff that was the counter, we have slowly been taking to like our parents' house uh, to put on their curb because their trash will take anything, but all just things to consider and I'm feeling good standing in here. Like it's just gonna make a world of difference to know that things aren't gonna break every time I walk in here, hopefully, if all goes well. And that's where I'm gonna end for this first portion. Um, let me know in the comments what questions you still have or what you'd like to see for kind of maybe segment two of the camper rebuild. I know it's a bunch of random clips. That's just how I roll. I try to like fit it in when I can. Um, Tonight we are going to a throwdown, which is a latte art competition. It's in Ann Arbor. If they have them in your area, it's a really, really great way to meet other coffee professionals and just like get involved. Um, I'll try to add a couple clips in here from that, but we're going with some baristas slash family slash friends. And that is just gonna be a really great way to start rolling into the new season of Hazel. Uh, yeah. Anything you'd like to add, Scrappy? Guess not. <laughs>